And there's also ways to conceptualize any situation and see it as an experience as opposed to something bad that's happening. I mean, I think obviously if something is happening and it's hurting somebody, you want to validate the sadness or the loss or the fear, but also you want to reframe it as what is this teaching me? How am I collecting information that I can use later in some way, uh, in my writing, in my connection to my own children, in my connection to my patients. And the same can go for anybody. If they start to reframe, this is an experience. This is like something I'm collecting to give me more wisdom. Then it's no longer just bad. Let's say you're in, uh, you're going into a pool and it's freezing cold. We could either jump in and have a huge shock to the system, or we can dip a toe and it might take slower, but eventually you're going in a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And I would say behavioral activation and exposure and response prevention when it comes to phobias or anxiety, you do a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. That's why I'm talking to you and I'm not on stage doing comedy right now. 